We at Henley & Partners, we specialize in residence and citizenship planning. Uh, we've coined this term in the 1990s uh, and have been assisting clients and government since then. And there's a number of key drivers that lead investors and families, entrepreneurs to pursue an alternative residence and or a citizenship. And primarily these are mobility, uh, security, quality of life, as well as business opportunities. Of course, here in the region, in the, in the MENA region, we're seeing a lot of concerns over security as we live in quite an uncertain world. And that's grabbing families' attention and they're looking at alternative options in Europe and elsewhere around the world to find another citizenship that in case something does go wrong in the region or in their own country, they do have a place where they can go and move their family and, and find that security. Uh, of course, businessmen are considering such options as we live now in a much more international world than just 10 years ago. Uh, when we look at the Dubai airport, now one of the busiest airports in the world, uh, I believe it's over 60 million visitors or travelers that go through there per year. Uh, we see a need for increased travel and the ease of travel. That means uh, gaining access to more countries without a visa or with re relatively uh, simple visa procedures and an alternative citizenship such as that in the Caribbean islands. Uh, for example, Antigua and Barbuda will offer you visa-free travel to over 130 countries, including the Schengen Zone, the UK, Canada, and that's very attractive for investors. But primarily, as I said previously, uh, security and education are a key factor for families. And for that reason, we are seeing a sort of overwhelming trend towards European countries such as Malta, which started their own uh, individual investor program earlier, earlier in 2014 and has had now over 800 uh, families apply for this passport. Uh, of course, there are very stringent due diligence procedures uh, that go along with these programs and that's one of the things that we also specialize in when it comes to actually setting these programs up for governments and helping them bring in foreign direct investment but also making sure that these funds have not been uh, created through criminal activity or uh, somehow associated with any criminal activity or terrorism activity.